Hi, Mr. Unger here, and in this video, I am looking at Khan Academy's Assignment Limits intro. All right, so let's go through a few of these problems, and I'll show you how, and I'll show you how I'm going to solve. So, we have a function g; it's defined for all real numbers except for x equals five, and we want to say what is a reasonable estimate for the limit as x approaches five of g of x. Well, we can see that even though it's not defined at 5, it's approaching uh, the y value, negative 2 here from this side, and it's approaching from this side, negative 2 as well. So a reasonable estimate for the limit is negative 2. It doesn't have to have a value at the actual number. We're not evaluating the value at the actual um, point. We're just seeing what is the function approaching. So in this case, it's going to be negative. All right, let's look at the next question. Uh, function g is defined over the real numbers. The table gives a few values of g. What is a reasonable estimate for the limit as x approaches negative 2 of g of x? So we can see as we're getting closer to negative 2 from this side, from the positive side, we're getting close to 8. And as we're approaching negative 2 from the negative side, we're also getting close to 8. So reasonable estimate is that the limit as x approaches negative 2 of g of x is 8. We've got some energy points. It's a good day. Let's go on to the, another one. All right. The function g is defined for all real numbers. What is a reasonable estimate for the limit as x approaches negative 4 of g of x? Well, if we take a look from the left-hand side, we'll see that we're approaching negative 3. As we, as we, the, the, the left-hand limit is approaching negative 3. The right-hand limit here is going to be approaching positive 2. So the limits do not match. So therefore, the left, if the left and the right-hand limits don't match, the limit does not exist. Okay, let's take a look at another one, see if we can get a perfect score. So the function f is defined for all real numbers except for x equals 3. What is the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x? Well, again, like the first problem, we don't have to have it defined at the point x equals 3. So we're going to see what it approaches from the left and the right-hand side, and if they match, that's going to be the limit. So from the left-hand side, it's approaching negative 4. We're seeing we're getting closer to this value here, negative 4. And from the right-hand side, we're also approaching negative 4. So a reasonable estimate for the limit is negative 4. And that's all there is to this assignment. If you have questions, leave comments in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day.